Hey guys, Terry here. Um, I just wanted to do a quick video and tell you what I've been up to. Um, I had gotten a camera a little bit ago. It's the Sony A7 III. Um, I got it. I got a portrait lens on it. Um, I'm wanting to learn how to um, put my Nikon. I have an old Canon uh, I'm an old Nikon uh, D40X. I want to use those lenses on this um, Sony uh, camera. So I've been looking around for what kind of... Um, you can get an adapter that goes on the body and then you can use um, other lenses so you don't have to buy uh, new lenses for your camera. So I have that on order. It's not going to come till the end of April. Um, I found my, um, oh, but when it comes to that camera, I at least learned how to hook up my smartphone to the camera. I can remote control it, and then I was able to upload um, photos from that camera up to Snapfish, all from my the phone app. So, uh, future video on that as I'm learning how to work the camera. So, excited about that. I do, I got the camera for two reasons. One is to do portrait uh, photos and it takes a this is a wonderful um, photo lens on it and then I also want to um, hang it overhead so that I can do um, videos with it um, I'm using my phone for these videos and it works great um, but I just do I try to do under 10 minute videos and this camera will let me um, like record for an hour and then actually edit the video and do um, different uh, voiceovers. So just doing that next step of um, blogging. So I'm excited about that. And it's fun to learn new things. Um, last time I told you that I had gotten some more distress, distress oxides. And I want to, um, I found my Velcro pieces. I need to order some more of them. These came in little packs where it's got the two pieces where the Velcro goes on them. I'm just using this looped part and I glue that onto the bottom of these cases and then that way I can keep the um, ink pad for that color with that pad. So I need to order some more of those. Um, and then as far as these distress oxides, um, I found a new way. I, I got two things in the mail today. Um, I think this one is the stand that I found. Let's see if that's what I think it is. This is for um, the Tim Holtz Distress Oxides. And it is a stand that you put together. And it looks like it's made out of plastic. Nice and sturdy. So let me open this up for a second here. Okay, got it unwrapped. I didn't figure you needed to hear me unwrap that crinkly stuff. So it comes with a bunch of screws and a cute little baby screwdriver. And the idea behind this, and I'll have links on my website uh, to this product, but the idea behind this is that you um, have the Distress ink pads um, in a little stand. So you put all these pieces together. Um, it's almost, it's like a foam board, plasticky. But yeah, you put all these pieces together and it's a nice little stand. It's only about six inches deep and about nine inches tall. So I think that's going to make it be a nice little stand for here on my desk to have my ink pads. Um, I used to have them in the box that they came in. And I had them all um, stacked right here. Um, and that worked in the drawer. Um, but I do want to have them um, out so that I can use them more frequently. So i um, just trying to have my desk set up so that it's all ready for um, card making. And I kind of have everything at my disposal on this desk or over in my um, RASCOGs that I have sitting beside the desk. So I will show a picture of that at the end when I get that put together. And then the second thing that I got was a 
again, I'll put you on pause while I open the crinkly part. This is um, Distress Crayon Storage Box. So this is for, let me grab them. I currently have the crayons just in this little cup here. Um, I think the box holds, I think it said 36, oh 34. Heard it holds 34 of them. And I plan on doing a video to show these um, distressed crayons. Um, I think I have two or three sets here. I think they come five or six to a set. Um, Tim Holtz has a lot of these tins that are nice. I have one for the, um, uh, the ink storage. And what's nice is he's thought about that there's a placeholder for them so that everything doesn't just go everywhere. So um, you could just have these in your drawer, but it is nice to take them on the go and you can see what you have. So the tin latches, you can see it has a small bottom, taller top, and then it's got all the um, little holders. There's a little plastic tray in there. Okay. Um, these containers go on sale. I think I got this at scrapbook.com. Um, I had a store credit. So I got this, and then I think this I ordered on Amazon. So let me get this put together, and then I will show it to you. Let's see if we can do an effect. I always wanted to do this. Okay. Not gonna lie. There was a little bit of cursing. Glad I didn't have the camera rolling. But I got it together. I don't have the uh, screws put in the holes yet, but I wanted to make sure I had it all together before I... Um, the picture really didn't help. I mean, I just had to think about that I wanted... Let me raise the camera up. Just had to think that I wanted it to stand like this. You can have it stand upright or you can have it lay down. So once I had that, it was a matter of putting the top and bottom on, the rungs in, and then popping the sides on. And it was a lot of wiggling. But it's very very nicely made. I mean, I think it was less than $20. So my idea is that I'm going to have it standing up. And then I tried one of these pads. The ink pad fits in there very nicely and snugly. So they are popped out. And I like that. I guess they're snugly because of the pad that I've got on there. Because they're loose. They're nice and loose without my little pad and I can see the colors on them that's why I put the uh, label on them because you couldn't they're really now I can see the color a little bit but I do like having the label on there and then I um, sponged on the color onto the label but I think that's gonna work too I think it holds two, seven, eight. So it holds 24. Did that math in my head. And I can arrange them by. I can put the blues together with the color family. But I think this is going to work good. It's not going to take up very much space on the desk. It'll be this deep. I think I'm going to put it back over here. Um, but like I said, you could have them. You could have them like that. This is about six inches tall, about nine inches deep. Um, if you wanted them to have them, like you could put them inside your IKEA um, calyx in one of the squares. Um, but I do intend to have it just sitting on my desk. So I think it's going to work well. For the cost, I mean, there's so many wood um, containers that are so expensive. So I'll have a link. This was called. 
P-I-X-I-S-S -S storage. So I don't know if it's <clears throat> made by Amazon. I know I bought it on Amazon. So I'll have the links on my website. And um, look forward to, well, subscribe so that we can stay in touch and you can see my future videos. But I'm going to talk more about my cameras. I'm going to talk more about, I bought a um, photo scanner. I've been meaning to show that um, new tool. And, um, yeah, s subscribe so you can know when I post a new video. Thanks, guys. Links are on my website.